As you get older, you learn more about yourself, what you like, what you don't like, what you believe in, what you value, and you learn the things that make you feel happy and fulfilled and loved. Another thing that happens as you get older is that you care less about what other people think of you. Now, I've been in kind of a weird position for many years in which what the general public thinks about me has an impact on my income every month. Over the years, thousands of people have supported me financially on Patreon so that I'm able to have the privilege of focusing more of my time on creative endeavors, and I couldn't be more thankful. But it has made me afraid to, in some respects, be totally, honestly myself in public. I technically live below the poverty line and I have a massive amount of debt, so doing anything that could potentially make people support me less is terrifying. There's also a little extra nuance to this in that when I first started my YouTube career, as it were, 15 years ago, I was a significantly less liberal person. I was raised in a very conservative Christian household, and 15 years ago I was significantly less out of that than I am now. So for a long time I felt kind of afraid that the audience that I started growing way back then uh, will always prefer that I be more like I was back then than who I have become over the years. Separate from all that, I have family members who watch my videos, so I've been reluctant to be public about things that I know they might disapprove of or have difficulty accepting. But as I mentioned earlier, the older you get, the easier it is to give less of a shit about what other people think of you. And recently I feel like I just crossed this threshold where um, what the general public thinks about me, what my family thinks about me, and even how much money I'm making on a month-to-month -month basis matter to me less than just being open and honest about who I am. Most of my friends and some of my family do know this already, and I, I have even said a few things on my Twitch channel now and again, um, but the audience there is relatively small, so I've never been quite this public about it in such a public space. <laughs> anyway, maybe you're thinking, oh my god, get to it, what's your deal, are you gay? I'm not gay, but I do wonder if maybe my grandma would have an easier time understanding that I were gay than what I actually am. I am polyamorous. When I told my dad this recently, he asked, what is polyamorous? So maybe you're wondering the same thing. According to Wikipedia, polyamory is the practice of or desire for romantic relationships with more than one partner at the same time with the informed consent of all partners involved. People who identify as polyamorous may believe in open relationships with a conscious management of jealousy and reject the view that sexual and relational exclusivity are prerequisite for deep, committed, long-term loving relationships. Others prefer to restrict their sexual activity to only members of the group, a closed polyamorous relationship that is usually referred to as polyfidelity. It is my belief that there is no one relationship style that fits everybody. There are many people for whom monogamy is the best fit for their happiness and satisfaction. There are many people for whom an open relationship structure is the best fit for their happiness and satisfaction. For me, I believe that polyfidelity is the best fit for my happiness and satisfaction. What does that look like? In my case, rather than a couple moving through life as a team of two, building a home as a team of two, raising a family as a team of two, it looks like moving through life as a team of three. Building a home and raising a family as a team of three. When I was younger, I remember reading this interview with a famous actor talking about how if he wanted to be involved with someone who wasn't his wife, he would just ask his wife if she was okay with it, and if she was, he would become involved with this other person. At the time, I was horrified. It seemed like such a violation. Like, how could you claim to love your wife while also being involved with this other person? Now, mind you, 
My younger self struggled to remain faithful in relationships. So somehow I didn't recognize the cognitive dissonance in finding this actor's interview completely morally reprehensible while also engaging in basically the same behavior, but in a very unethical, completely dishonest way. Meanwhile, this actor is over here promoting the idea of being open and honest and communicative with your partner about your wants and needs. Anyway, many years later, I was in a relationship with someone who several years into knowing them, I learned was open to the idea of polyamory. And around that same time, I just happened across this YouTube channel that highlights relationships that fall outside of the societal norm. This one particular video I saw documented three people living in the deep south, all married to each other and raising a kid together. Granted, they're not all legally married to each other because that's illegal, but they basically function as a married thruple. Watching this video, something just clicked for me and I was like that. That is what I want. The love that they all clearly shared for each other, I thought was just beautiful. And on the practical side, especially in today's economy, three incomes supporting one household? Yes, please. Three adults to help with all the chores? Yes, please. Three parents to share child rearing duties? Yes, please. Anyway, when I met Kelsey, who as of this recording has been my girlfriend for six and a half years. I was in this pre-existing relationship and the short version is that I was like, hey, here's my situation. Are you cool with this? And then we sort of became a polyamorous triad for a little bit. Now, in the same way that when you have your first monogamous relationship in high school or whatever, you have no idea what you're doing and are thus very likely to not have that relationship last the rest of your life, a first time polyamorous situation with a bunch of newbies is very likely to have everybody doing everything wrong. And that's just because nobody in that situation has experience with the kind of extreme communication necessary to make that situation work. And one of the things that I really failed to comprehend at the time is that if you go from having two people in a relationship to three people in a relationship, you're not just increasing the complexity of the relationship by 50%. If you have two people who are dating, you have one relationship between A and B. If you have three people in a relationship, you have four relationships between A and B, B and C, C and A, and then A, B and C. And for that relationship structure to work, all four of those relationships need to be healthy intended to. Each one requires pretty masterful communication. And in this relationship of mine that I'm talking about, I was pretty bad at facilitating communication. For a lot of my life, I would aggressively avoid conflict, even in situations where conflict was necessary to resolve a situation. I would just bury my head in the sand. So ultimately that first polyamorous situation of mine didn't work out. And for the last three-ish years, it's just been Kelsey and me. But that dynamic of having three people in a thing is still something that we've both wanted for our lives. And the thing that finally pushed me to feel like talking about this publicly is that recently we have become involved with someone new. And whereas in my previous polyamorous situation, I felt like it had to be this big secret, this taboo thing that I had to hide. This time, I don't want to do that. I want to present myself to the world as I am, true to the circumstances of my life. And I expect there to be some level of backlash. If you haven't noticed, people on the internet can be kind of judgy. I expect that some people just won't understand. I expect that some people will be repulsed. It's not super uncommon to hear about polyamorous people receiving death threats. There are some people in this world who believe so strongly that their way of life is the only correct way of life that they feel everyone who does not adhere to that should be dead. And that's kind of scary, but I am just intensely uninterested in hiding things about myself anymore. So that's the thing. I'm polyamorous. 
If you're curious about anything, feel free to leave your questions in the comments. I would like to make a follow-up video in which I answer people's questions about me, my situation, or polyamory in general. I'm an open book, so you can feel free to ask whatever you want. If you're gonna post mean toxic things in the comments, however, I'll probably just delete your comment because I ain't got time for that negativity. Thanks for watching. And if after learning the truth about me, you decide to stick around, thanks for sticking around.